Today what I want to talk to you guys about on my YouTube is if I think that the fitness industry is fucked up. I've been through a lot over the eight last eight months and I wouldn't wish any of that upon anybody. Little setbacks should never define who we are as people. Just be true and be honest and straight up because you know I know that's what you know at the end of the day what, what people want to hear whether All right guys, so today what I wanna to talk to you guys about on my YouTube is if I think that the fitness industry is fucked up. Now, before I go into that and talking about that, um, about a month ago, I ran into Bradley Martin at the club and uh, it was the first time that we actually um, saw each other since all the crazy incident that had been going on social media with shreds and whatnot. And um, so when I first saw him and we made eye contact, you know, I flagged him down. And I could tell he was a little caught off guard, but he still came over and, um, you know, I just talked to him real quick and just let him know that, you know, even though he put me through hell and, you know, caused a lot of issues for me, um, you know, I just didn't have it in my heart to hate him. And I wanted him to know that, you know, I was over the situation. I just want to move on. And, you know, at the end of the day, I started fitness to um, motivate and inspire other people to want to live a better life, you know, and I wanted to be a better person. So... I, I just wanted him to know that there was no no more beef. And so, you know, he responded with, you know, his apologies and how he felt like he took it too far and, you know, carried on w with the conversation and, you know, we squashed it there and, you know, that was the end of it, you know. So it's a little disheartening to, you know, see all the stuff that is going on with him on social media right now. Um, so, you know, to answer my question on this YouTube is if I think that the industry is fucked up, um, you know, honestly, I, I don't think it's fucked up. I do think that there are people that claim it is fucked up and they're just utilizing that to benefit themselves. You know, there's also people who are, um, you know, using hate to generate more drama and, uh, you know, hurt other people. And, um, sorry, I got my notes here to so make sure I touch base on everything. <clears throat> you know, at the end of the day, um, th this doesn't just happen in fitness. And um, unfortunately, the stuff like this goes on in, in our regular lives. You know, we deal with these kind of situations in everyday living. Um, you know, my goal for this with this video isn't to call anyone out or to start any more unnecessary drama. You know, I've been through a lot over the eight last eight months, and I wouldn't wish any of that upon anybody. <clears throat> You know, a lot of you may know my story. Is this thing turning off? You know, a lot of you guys may know my story or what you think you know because of what people have said about me. Um, you know, people ask me daily, you know, why I haven't defended myself or um, said anything to the people that have been attacking me. Um, but really, it's it's simple. You know, I know in my heart what the truth is. And at the end of the day, I don't need to justify that um, because I know what's true. <coughs> you know, I, at the end of the day, you know, I'm not a perfect person. You know, I've had to learn from my mistakes and, um, you know, take my L's and, and move forward and, you know, be a better person. You know, that's the goal with everything in life is just to continue to grow and be a better person in life. Um, but what I do know, you know, as far as karma goes, you guys are seeing it now, you know. Um, it's, it's no secret, um, you know, that Bradley and, you know, trained to look good naked they tried to destroy my reputation and, you know, they did a good job of it. <clears throat> but for me, you know, as long as I am, um, you know, I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and most importantly, you guys that have supported me through all the bullshit and the drama that continues, you know, to carry on with social media, you know, at the end of the day, for me personally, although me and Bradley are not friends, I honestly hope he pulls through this whole thing. Um, you know, I hope he doesn't um, ever hit rock bottom like I did. And hopefully he can, you know, address the things that are, you know, on him right now and just be true and be honest and straight up because, you know, I know that's what, you know, at the end of the day, what, what people want to hear, whether it's someone you're reflecting or people that feel like they're in the situation, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, if you're asking me, um, you know, the only real way to help the fitness industry, um, 
be better is for us to come together as one and stop all this hating. You know, I remember when I first started fitness, um, you know, I always thought, you know, why is there so much hate being funneled through on social media? You know, why can't we come together because what we do for a living and how much we, we love fitness, you know, we're in that minority, that low percentile of people that actually enjoy and love fitness the way that we do. So why can't we come together and love each other? Why does it have to be bashing? Why does it have to be um, something of hate? Um, this is a brotherhood, you know, everybody should be, you know, joining in together as I'm still learning how to get my camera to run completely through without cutting me off. Um, but, you know, like I was saying, the only real way to help the fitness industry is um, for us to start for the same reasons why we did in the first place. And, it, you know, it wasn't for the money. It wasn't for the fame. It was, you know, just to better ourselves and inspire other people to want to better their lives, too. You know, um, for myself, you know, I've matured so much over the last couple months um, just dealing with the things that I've dealt with, going through life, you know, the struggles, the ups, the downs, you know. But the most important thing of those is learning from your mistakes and growing as a person. You know, so all I ask from all of you guys that maybe are watching this video is let's let's make this industry better again. You know, I started my channel so that I can um, show you guys my journey, be a little bit more in touch with, you know, what you guys see firsthand with what goes on in my life, showing you my friends, you know, all those things. It was, you know, to document my um, my journey to you guys and to show you how you can overcome adversities, you know, with my injury, not allowing that to be a setback and utilize that as motivation to come back better and stronger, you know, different things like that, that I want to give you guys insight to that. Hopefully if you deal with situations like that, you'll be inspired to want to push and be great again too. You know, little setbacks should never define who we are as people. And so, you know, I, I told myself in 2017 that I was going to make a comeback and yeah, setback, I just got hurt. But it's this is my comeback year, and, and I want you guys all to better each other, better ourselves from here on out, you know? <clears throat> That's the key to success is continually striving to be better, not just for yourself, but for the people around you. So hopefully you guys can take something from this video um, and, you know, just run with it and, and take it for what it is. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed, to my YouTube, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. I got a lot of dope shit coming out and uh, I wanna continue to motivate you guys to take 2017 to the next level. I'll see you guys in a couple days.